हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड द ग्राफ प्लॉटिंग एंड इट्स एनालिसिस वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द ग्राफ बिटवीन द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड एंड टाइम इन केस ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म स्पीड वी हैव आल्सो डिस्कस्ड द स्लोप ऑफ द ग्राफ एंड इट्स फिजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस मींस व्हाट द स्लोप ऑफ द ग्राफ गिव्स अस टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू द सेम टॉपिक and we will start with the graph between speed and time in case of uniform speed let us come to the whiteboard uniform speed the topic is same and the graph we will plot here of the speed and time u dash t also you can write here again we will take the two coordinate axes on the graph paper you have to draw two one perpendicular and one horizontal line on the graph paper there you have to choose a initial point this axis we will plot a speed that is the y axis and on this axis we will plot time time in second and the speed is in meter per second let us assume the situation for this condition here the value of speed will be constant with the time that is suppose a body is moving with 40 meter per second then the speed magnitude will remain constant at zero time the speed is 40 meter per second one second the speed is same Two second, the speed is same. The three second, also the speed will be same because this is the case of uniform speed. Here we will write a speed, a u, in meter per second, and time in second. Now let us plot here how we will plot this information on the graph. For zero time, the speed is this is ten, twenty, thirty, forty. The speed is forty. For one second, the speed is again forty. For two second, the speed is forty. The three, third second also, and so on. We will get a graph like this, a horizontal line. parallel to time axis thus what we conclude in case of uniform speed the graph plotted between speed and time will be a straight line parallel to time axis then let us write it in case of uniform speed in case of uniform speed the graph plotted between plotted between speed and time will be a straight line will be a straight line parallel to time axis parallel to time axis now what information we can take from this graph the information will be that the distance travel we can calculate from this graph 
the area under this graph means from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up to 5 seconds I have written here. And during 5 up second, what is the distance traveled by this body? We can find out from this graph. And that will be the area of the graph enclosed. Means up to 5 seconds. We will close it and this area will give us the distance traveled by the body. Thus we can write the area enclosed by the speed time graph gives us distance traveled. The, the area enclosed The area enclosed by speed time graph gives us distance traveled. The area enclosed by speed time graph gives us distance traveled. Let us discuss how is it. Let us study once again this graph. This side we have plotted speed and this side time. And this amount is giving the speed and this is giving the time. And we have to find out area, this area, we will find out. Then we will decide how this area is equal to the distance traveled. And this area, area of the graph is equal to 40 into 5. And that is 200 meter. This is also amazing. We are finding out the area and the unit we have it in meter. And the, but this we have to do. This is actually distance traveled. So we have to write it in meter. Now let us see. We know the equation S is equal to UT plus half AT squared. Here U is speed, initial speed and A is acceleration and T is time. Here acceleration is zero as the speed is uniform. So the formula will remain only this U into T. And in this case the speed is 40 and we had to calculate distance traveled for 5 seconds. So we will write 5 and this is equal to 200 meter. In this way this amount and this amount is same. Thus the area under the graph plotted between the speed and time gives us distance traveled. Okay. And this is also valid for non-uniform speed. This is not only for valid for uniform speed because gra with graph I have explained only to understand. But this is also valid in case of non-uniform speed. Now, this is the case of non-uniform speed means the speed of the object is changing with time. Either the speed will increase or the speed will decrease with time. So I have taken two graphs and this is the graph for increasing speed and this is the graph for decreasing speed. And a graph is plotted between distance travel and time. Already you are looking here. We will analyze how this graph gives us the information of increasing speed 
and this graph giving us the information of decreasing speed. Let us see how. Let us focus here. The time is 2 seconds and at this time the body covered only 10 meter. Okay. And as the time passes, it reached to the 4 second and after 4 second to 5 second. During this period, within 1 second, body has covered 70 and 30 means what? 40 meter. Initially, the speed of this body, body A, is slowly it started and gradually its speed increased. Now let us see what is happening here. Suppose this is the body B and initially within one second this body covered 30 meter. And when the time passes between the 5 and 4 second means during one second only in later time it is covering only 10 meter. Means what? The gradually, the speed of body B is decreasing. Initially, it started with higher speed. But later on, its velocity decreases. And here, the body A started with slow speed. But gradually, its speed increased. And from the graph, it is clear. You can judge on the basis of inclination of slope also. Here you see the slope is inclined more towards the time. So initially the body A is moving slower. At, as time passes, passes, the slope is less inclined to the time axis. So its velocity increased. And here you see initially the slope of the graph is less inclined to time axis. Therefore, this body started with higher speed, its velocity increasing fastly, but at later time, the slope of the graph is inclined, more inclined to the time axis. Therefore, its speed gradually decreasing. So, this is the graph for decreasing speed. Decreasing a speed, and this is the graph for increasing a speed. Now, what we conclude in case of non uniform speed, the graph plotted between distance, travel, and time is a curve, it may be increasing if curve is like this. And it may be decreasing if the curve is like this. Okay, let us write, write. In case of non-uniform speed, the graph plotted between The graph plotted between distance traveled and time. Distance traveled and time will be a curve. We have completed the case of uniform speed and non-uniform speed and we are going to start the case of uniform velocity and non-uniform velocity and these two cases are almost similar. So we are going to just revise the previous graph plotting or simply the graph plotting. We are going to revise the same graph plotting. Very little change will be there because all of you know there is a very small difference between the speed and velocity that makes them 
very different although now let us move towards the plotting of graph in case of uniform velocity uniform velocity first we will take the graph for displacement and time displacement and time only magnitude of displacement we will take here so the situation will be like this again we will take x for displacement and this will be measured in meter and time t and it will be measured in second 0 1 2 3 4 and so on and here the displacement initially is 0 0 you can start from 20 40 60 because the velocity is uniform now let us plot how we will plot it we have to draw a horizontal line for x axis and a vertical line for y axis and this is the initial point we will plot time on x axis and displacement on y axis and this is all ready divided in your graph paper i am dividing myself 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. And this side ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Right? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Now, plot. Zero and zero at zero, the time is also zero and displacement is also zero. Now one second, the displacement is twenty. So we will take somewhere here, one then twenty. You have to move. After that, two second, the displacement is ten, twenty, thirty, forty here, and third second. The displacement is sixty, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Here and so on, so on. And finally, we will get a straight line again. A straight line passing through the origin and inclined to time axis. let us write the conclusion in case of in case of uniform velocity uniform velocity the graph the graph plotted between displacement and time displacement and time will be a straight line inclined to inclined to time axis and this straight line will pass through the origin if the body is started from its initial point the line will pass through the origin 
इफ बॉडी हैज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम इट्स इनिशियल पॉइंट हियर ऑल्सो द स्लोप ऑफ द ग्राफ और स्लोप ऑफ दिस लाइन ओ पी गिवस अस द वैलोसिटी द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वैलोसिटी ओनली वी विल राइट इट द स्लोप ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट टाइम ग्राफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट टाइम ग्राफ गिव्स मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट सॉरी मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वैलोसिटी मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वैलोसिटी हाउ यू विल कैलकुलेट फ्रॉम हियर लेट एस सी टेक एनी इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम this interval of time let us take at 2 second and this side and in this triangle suppose this point is q o q s this is the 40 meter and this is the 2 second and the slope of the graph is what perpendicular by base for a triangle for this triangle o q s the slope of the slope of the displacement time graph will be given by qs by os and this qs is equal to this that is 40 meter os is 2 and this implies what 20 meter per second the magnitude of velocity in this case is 20 meter per second we can verify it by taking the another interval of time let us take this interval Three. At three, we will draw perpendicular, and at four, let us draw. And during this interval, we will find out what is the velocity of this body. During this interval, between the four second and Three second, we have to find out the velocity of the body, and between these two interval, between these four second and three second, the distance travel is this ten plus ten twenty meter, and we have to find out the slope of the graph. The slope of this line we have to find out this line, or if from between this to this, and for this, this is the base and this is the perpendicular. And this base can be given as t two minus t one. This is t two and this is t one. The time will be t two minus t one and distance. This is the x two and this is the x one. This distance, this distance, x two minus x one will give this is distance. X two minus x one. This is the slope of the graph, and we can write this is equal to twenty, and this is equal to one. Therefore, here again the velocity is twenty meter per second. So the velocity of this body is uniform velocity.